How do you unlock tier 4 in Rebirth of Glory? My name is Shinchi42. So today, as you guys can see, we can unlock tier 4 units now. And it's going to cost us 10 million of the knowledge points to be able to complete this research or to actually begin this research. And you are going to need 1 million gold. So make sure to prepare for this. Now, as you can see, all three of them in here will give me uh, 44,000 points or 44,740 same amount of um, knowledge point and as well as gold to use and the same amount of time three days and 16 hours to unlock tier four but how do you get to this point you will need to be able to unlock the troop march three and get that to three basically i have this all in the very minimum right now and kind of rushing into military technology this is less than a month um when i started i think i started on the 22nd of last month and it is now 624 so, sorry, actually a little bit more than a month before I can get T4. So, a month and a few days, I'm able to get T4. If I can do it, you can also do it. This is completely free-to-play way because there's no spending yet currently as we are recording the game. Now, there are a few holes in here that I never finished yet. But there's a reason why I never finished them is because I use them whenever we get into Tribe League and we just need to do a mission to complete some tasks onto the research. Now, to get to Tier 4, you will need to get your Shrine up to level 19. And when you do that, you need your Admin Hall to level 19 as well. So I've managed to get to that point. How do I get to that point? Basically, uh, we farm a lot of resources and at the same time, we killed a lot of... Um, monsters as well and as you can see right now I have all of these in here in my boxes that I haven't opened yet these are a lot of resources especially this 10,001 in here is going to be a couple million or more than a couple million it's gonna be a lot of millions in here once I open it I'm gonna open it in a different video but as you guys can see those are the things that I pretty much done I grinded the game I look for events and make sure that I participate on the events this one I'm still gonna participate as well um, there's events like this glorious assembly to which you get some speed ups in here. So I got to do this perfect thing about this one is that it matches up with a top Lord and we get some points by killing monster layers. So that's the things that I do here in rebirth of glory. One more tip and advice for you guys, uh, before we unlock this T4 is that when you find your, um, scholar circles in here, you can see you can manage that. Make sure to upgrade that right away because you want to produce more knowledge points and click boost and always use your boost in this way because this is the only resources in here in the game that you cannot farm. It can only be produced within the base. So keep that in mind and it's very, very helpful. I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm going to push here in Top Lord. I might just unlock it in Top Lord or wait for an event on Power Up. I haven't decided yet. I got a few hours to decide. So I have to think about what I'm about to do. All right, so days later, this is now 1st of July as we're recording, and you guys can see the timestamp on the previous recorded video. And I mentioned that we got T4 during the one month period and so. So this is one month and change in here, and I got two T4s already. It is really not that difficult to get to T4, and I'm gonna show you in here real quick as well, what is the requirement for you guys to make the T4 itself? So one thing to say is that joining an active alliance is very, very helpful for your growth here within the game in Rebirth of Glory. So as you guys can see, what I'm doing right now is I've got my gem mining on my research. For my military technology, this is where I'm at as of today. Um, I'm going to finish these up eventually. Like I got my Berserker HP, I didn't finish that in Cavalry HP once we get into a Tribe League event and some of these stuff as well. And as you can see, we now have the um, tier four um, axemen and as well as the um, throwing axemen in here. And eventually I will try to get my cavalry next here to do the research. And it's also still going to cost 10 million of the um, knowledge point. And as you can see right now at this day, I have 101 million knowledge points. So I'm banking those up because I want to use them during an event. So we will see what is the strategy next for me. Now, let me show you what you need to make, all right? I'm going to show you what you need to make Tier 4 units. I'm going to speed this up for you guys in here, although I shouldn't do this, but since uh, I want to show it to you guys right now, I will do it. I'm going to do a quick use. It's a three-hour consumption, and, you know, there we go. So, as you can see here, if I was to make 1,200 of the uh, Berserkers in here, or the Axemen, you're going to be now seeing that I need 1,200 of the Breastplate in here. 
which if you actually look into this, one unit requires one breastplate. All right, so now um, that's going to be for T4. And how do you get these things in here? So you'll want to go into the workshop. As you can see, I'm trying to produce them as well. I just collected it right now. You want to go into the workshop, go to the forging table, make sure also to upgrade your forging table. I'm going to upgrade this to level 50 actually. So there we go. So when you upgrade that, you increase the batch size, go to the forging table, go all the way down here. This is what you need when you're making uh, tier four and above later on. You need the breastplate. So you'll need steel ingot um, and then mirror armor and then leather armor. Is it is it ingot or ingot? I think it's ingot. And then when we go here, onto the flying axe, you still need that steel. Now you need axe handle and an axe blade. And then here you'll still need the steel ingot, uh, absorption plate and stirrup. So now you'll wanna go um, look for it. So basically this is the leather armor that you need to make. You need iron sheet and fur, and then iron blade and charcoal. And then here, um, iron ingot and then flax. So that's one part that you gotta do and you wanna go back into furnace and you gotta start making these steel ingot as well. And then the iron blade, in here and then iron sheet and then when we go into the um the other workshop in here which is called the crafts workshop go over here then you'll need to produce the axe handles for um, the slingers um, plate for the cavalry and then this mirror armor is going to be for the berserkers so you get those materials from the wishing in here as you can see when we look into the wish you're going to be get them in here and that's going to allow you to produce materials to make um, your T4 units here in the game. Now, is it difficult to make it? Mm, not necessarily. I would recommend that early stages in the game that you start producing them like what I'm doing right now and kind of have a plan. I kind of like the part that you have to produce the materials in here. It makes it a little bit challenging. It makes it difficult whenever there's going to be like a spending level eventually one day that you can't just produce them right away, that you have to produce them into the workshop. I like that part. Um, it's not going to be as easy. There is a restriction. So for the most part, you're going to be making a lot of T3. And then eventually, once you make T3, you are going to be upgrading your T3 to um, the next level of units that you have. So I think that's a really cool feature that they have done. Um, you know, I, I I don't like hate it because I like the challenge. It is really, I think, better than other SLG games because in other SLG games, you just need the, you know, resources and then that's it. And here you need the material to produce it, makes it more difficult to makes it more fun that not everybody can just have access to it right away. And if they're not very good at planning, then they're not going to be able to make a lot of the T4 units. So really, you need to be very organized in this game. Since this is a strategy game, I think it's really important to imply that strategy part of the game into the you know the gameplay in here because a lot of people would just want to have it easy and then you know uh, it, it's not as fun that way i think this the developers did uh, a really interesting job with this game and how you you are going to be producing the troops and not just that really it all comes down into how do you research as well because in most games right you are going to be needing only resources you're not going to be needing to produce like knowledge points that can only be produced within the city it's very unique and i like it in all honesty in here now i'm going to try to produce um you know x-men in here and like i said 1200 breastplates in here there's a little bit of a spacing issue in here but as you can see i have 5580 i'm going to go and train that one you can go to materials and as you can see i have 2200 of the flying axe as i'm trying to make more um archers in here or slingers within the game so relatively easy. If I manage to get this within a month, I think you guys can do it. I would say really join an active alliance and participate in every event that you can. Um, yeah, one month to get T4, I think it's very doable. So I think you guys can definitely get it. So let me know what your progress is. If you are in a um, not so active alliance, I recommend that you move. There's no point of being loyal to inactive alliance because at a certain point, those people who you are with will quit the game. And if you are serious to playing the game and you enjoy the game, I do recommend that you join an active alliance. Now, right now, if you are in server three and you're looking for an active alliance, you guys can apply to MIG. Um, if you are like 60 million above, there are other alliance like CBL and I think as, which is our current allies right now, you guys can definitely join them as well. As you can see, those are our allies. You guys can join them. 
But of course, you know, I'm gonna recruit you to my alliance if you are strong enough that you and you can actually be here. And I think it's better because we're, you know, very active in here as well. But like I said, those other alliances are growing and they're, you know, getting a lot of activity as well. Um, for the, but for the most part, really, is you need to um, do do these things in here as well. Let's do a quick recap. Uh, do your trade haul. Get a lot of gold. Very important. So if you see this total food transaction reach, I'm gonna focus on what gives food first. And then collect that and then go to the next one and then still a food transaction and then no more. And as you can see, I'm accumulating gold because you need gold to complete a research, right? And then you can also collect taxes in here as well to get more gold. So very important that you do this. And then another thing is that when you go into your um, scholar circles, make sure that you're looking at the inventory that you have enough for you to extract and upgrade your um, scholar circles. Make sure that you can get it out of that, increasing the transport load or increasing the uh, the road in here. And also using the boost in this thing. It's actually very useful to use the boost in the scholar circle because this is the only resources that you cannot gather. And this is something that you really need to produce in the city for the, so that you can research your technology within the game. And also, if you see these, this is a uh, knowledge point as well. So those are the things that I did to manage to get to T4. If I can do it, I think you guys can do it. It's free to play. So right now it's pretty much fair game. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you liked this video and it was helpful for you. And uh, I'll see you guys again on to the next content. Let me know where you guys are from and what your current power is right now. And are you T4 yet?